this is after Noam gives a public talk, and then we're in a room, and it's it, it it's a long table, and at the head of the table is Noam and Chavez sitting next to each other, and then down the sides of the table are various ministers and government figures, and the head of the oil uh, uh, ministry and the head of the oil of the oil industry, and so on. And I was there, and uh, uh, because I was with Noam, and Greg Wilpert was there with me, so. The thing starts, I don't know how well you know Noam, but the thing starts and um, uh, Chavez asks Noam, they're having a sort of an open dialogue in essence, right? And so Chavez asks Noam a question and Noam answers it. And if you know Noam, when he answers a question, he answers the question and it takes a <laughs> while. Um, and so then Noam asks Chavez a question and Chavez, which is already very very unusual you can mm. take my word for that so so noam asks chavez a question and chavez answers and chavez also when he answers a question so that goes on for a while and so i'm sitting next to greg wilpert and i whispered in his ear we're about to see dueling questions <laughs> you know so it'd be a, a question and a long answer and a question and a long answer but that's not what happened what happened was as chavez finished his answer noam asked another question and as he finished the answer to that one, Noam asked another question. And Noam became the interviewer, in a sense, of Chavez. And so when we left, after that session I had just described, which went on and on, right? But I just relayed one. After we left, um, we got in the car. We were returning to where we were staying. And I said to Noam, did you believe him? And Noam knew exactly what I meant right away. I didn't mean was he lying. I meant he 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 comes across in a certain way, and he is you know he has a certain character about him. And politicians are very adept at coming across however you need to come across in order to you know win the day, right? So so I basically said to Noam, did you did did you believe him? And Noam said to me, yes. I didn't think I would, but I did. And so if you ask me about Hugo, Hugo Chavez, I was certainly very impressed with him. Partly he was a politician. When we arrived and walked into Miraflores, there he was to greet us. And so he greets Noam, and that's understandable. Noam's an international figure, right? But then he greets me, and he refers to people I live with. And he refer, you know, so in other words, he, he did his homework, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But Bill Clinton was the same way, right? Bill Clinton could make you feel like you were his best friend in 30 seconds, right? And that's the way you felt with Chavez. You felt like this, this guy cares. But what I was asking him is, did he think it was like Bill Clinton or did he think it was real? And he thought mm -hmm. it was real. And so did I. And maybe we were taken in, but I don't think so. Yeah.